Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the interior of Palmyra Manor. So if you guys missed this, I did do the exterior of this mansion earlier in the week. I will leave a link to that video in the description and on the screen for you guys if you haven't checked that out yet. And maybe you'd like to see what the house actually looks like on the outside and you know how I built it. But yeah, so this is basically... A kind of like Spanish Mediterranean kind of style home in the pinnacles of Del Sol Valley. Now I try to keep the interior kind of like to that same like theme I guess to that same style although I will admit I didn't look at any like inspiration pictures for like Spanish home interiors or you know anything like that I just try to keep it very warm I guess very warm dark woods cream colors and all of that very like earthy I guess I don't know I think that's basically the whole theme of the house I guess but yeah so we're starting off with the kitchen of this house I did have to cut out doing the bathrooms and I also cut out the upstairs landing the second floor landing and the entryway on the first floor and then I think, yeah, I also cut out the gym. This house does actually have its, you know, a home gym and the sauna. I did cut those out and, you know, that room right off of the kitchen right there in the corner, that is, you know, by that bathroom. That's actually a butler's bedroom that I don't show you guys in like the bold, but it is in the you know video tour at the end. I decided to cut that out since it's basically the most, you know, basic bedroom in the whole house. There's not there's not a lot of personality in it or anything since I figured it would just be for like a butler or something. So, yeah, it's very generic and it's not all that big or intricate or anything. But yeah, I opted to cut those rooms out and actually show you guys the little fun vault that I put in the basement. If you guys watch the you know the first part of this build, I told you guys a bit about you know the rooms that I that I put in the house and everything. But yeah, so this house actually has six bedrooms, you know, including the butler's room, and it has seven bathrooms. It has you know a formal living room, a formal dining room, a kitchen, a family room, um, the gym, the sauna, and a study on the second floor. And then it also has a games room in the little you know out outside you know garage kind of building kind of thing so half of that building is a garage and the other half is like a games room and a little extra outdoor bathroom that i thought would be really cool since you know the house does have a pool and you know having a bathroom kind of closer to the pool kind of in like the pool house area i thought that would be a good idea so that's basically everything that's in the house Oh yeah, and it also has a laundry room, its own separate, like, really kind of large laundry room, I guess. But yeah, so I opted to show you guys the vault instead of something like the but butler's room or the gym. Since I don't think, I, I, yeah, I've never done a vault in any of my rooms, in any of my homes or mansion builds or anything like that. It is something that I have did for, like, the first time in this build. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting, I guess. It has a lot of, like, artifacts and stuff in it. And, yeah, I figured, you know, if you guys have been on the channel for a while, I have done, like, a few gym builds and stuff. So, you know, I figured that's, you know, kind of something, like, generic, I guess, that, you know, you can't put all that much, like, you know, cr not creativity, but you can't make it all that intricate if you're just building, like, a home gym or something. So, yeah, I decided to cut that out. And this house actually took me like three and a half hours to furnish it. And the build part took me, I think, like three hours as well. So overall, this mansion took me like six and a half hours, which, you know, thinking about it, it's probably not that much. You know, I know there are some builders out there. I'm not going to name names, but, you know, there's one builder that I know of that actually does, you know, mansion builds in like two and a half two hours or one and a half hours and that's absolutely insane and if you guys don't know who I'm talking about I'm just going to say it it's Thomas TV he is I don't know I think he is a robot 
or an alien. So those are my two working theories that he's either a robot or an alien since I for the life of me I don't understand how he can do a whole mansion build on a 64x64 64 64 lot mind you. This isn't even on a 64x64, 64 64, it's on a 50x40 lot and it took me 6.5 hours. But you can do a whole 64x64 64 64 lot mansion build in like an hour and a half or two hours at the most and that's absolutely insane. That's, I don't know, my mind can't comprehend that basically. I, you know, it takes me like two hours to build a regular home let alone a mansion, you know, it took me longer than that to do the bloody exterior of this build, so, yeah, that's absolutely insane, and, yeah, he actually does two of those builds a week, you know, right now he does mansion builds on Fridays and on Sundays, so you guys should definitely go and check out his channel, I will leave a link to his channel in the description for you guys, if you don't know who he is, who he is already, which, I don't know how you don't know who he is already, but, yeah, so, a bit more about this house now that I've you know got my gushing out of the way <laughs> but this house like I said it has six bedrooms one of the bedrooms is a bath is the butler's bedroom and it's on the first floor and there's another bedroom on the first floor that I thought would be you know probably for a young adult uh, you know a young adult female or daughter or something it doesn't have to be for a female sim it could be for a male sim as well I try to keep the rooms as generic as possible, but yeah, so the I thought the, the downstairs bedroom would probably be for the oldest child since it does have an ensuite. It's the only bedroom besides the master bedroom that actually has an ensuite. Even the butler's room doesn't have an ensuite. But yeah, so this bedroom at the back of the formal living room actually has an ensuite. It's quite large actually, so I thought that's why I thought, you know, it would be for a, maybe for like an older sibling, you know, that still lives at home or something. And then downstairs we also have the gym and the sauna. And then upstairs we have obviously the master bedroom. And that has its own, you know, master bathroom ensuite kind of thing. And it has a walk-in closet that you walk into. And on the other side of the walk-in closet, you can actually pass through the closet into the study. But you can actually access the study from the like landing area as well. Now, I didn't like that since I didn't think it would be like a family study or anything. I didn't think it would be a place where you know, all of the children might be. Or I thought it would might probably be more of like an... You know, like an office space instead of like a family study or something it's probably probably more like an office for either the mom or the dad or something that maybe they work from home sometimes or you know something like that so yeah we have a study and then we have the three kids bedrooms i thought there would probably be like three teenagers you know upstairs so i thought the family would have obviously the parents and then the older child either a boy or a girl and then like Maybe like another young adult, it could be for a young adult, another young adult sim, one of the other bedrooms, but I thought more like three teenagers, you know, three more teenagers in the house, so there aren't any like kids bedrooms, there's no toys like laying around or like toddler beds or anything like that, and I just did it that way since outside I didn't really add anything like kid friendly or something, I didn't add like playground equipment or anything like that it's very I think this house is a very like adult centered house it's more for like an older family I guess but yeah we have three teenage bedrooms upstairs one of them I definitely thought would be for a girl there is quite a bit of not a lot of pink but there is some pink in it but yeah so I thought that would be for a teenage girl and you guys will notice once we get there that it's very minimalistic. Not minimalistic, but it's a lot less cluttered than I normally do my bedrooms. And I did that on purpose, actually. There's like nothing on her desk or anything like that. There's nothing on the dresser or, you know, some, something, anything like that. And I did that on purpose since I thought, you know, that girl, that, you know, that teenager, she might be not a neat freak, but she might be very tidy. I don't think she would have stuff like laying around or, you know, just left out on her dresser or on her desk or something. I thought she would be the kind of sim that once she's finished with something, 
she would put it away immediately. So her room is probably the tidiest out of all of the kids rooms. Then we also have a kind of like blue teenage bedroom and I thought that would probably be for a boy. But you know you can make it for a girl e either way. It's kind of like an artist bedroom. So there's like an easel and it actually connects to a balcony outside as well where I put another easel and a chair and stuff. So I thought that some would be like into painting or so and stuff like that. So there are lots of like, I don't know, like painting, you know, painting clutter, I guess, <laughs> is the best way I can describe it. And then the smallest room I thought would probably be for the youngest child, but I, like I said, I thought they would be a teenager as well. And that's kind of like a gamer's room, I guess. That room is very green. It has lots of green accents. And... Yeah, that room actually has, that, you know, that sim actually has their own computer and they have a TV in their room and a game console. So I definitely thought they would be more of the, you know, gamer, I guess, of the family or something like that. Maybe they just enjoy video games, I guess. But yeah, that's basically a rundown of the whole, of the whole house. And I still have more than 10 minutes to go of this voiceover, which, you know, is fun. I mean... I already cut out so much of this build that I didn't want to cut out any of the other rooms since I wanted to show you guys them. Even though I do include all of the rooms in the video tour. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't include all of the bathrooms. There are 7 bathrooms in this house and I only show you guys, I think, 3 of them. So I show you the master bathroom, the this downstairs ensuite and then one of the other upstairs bathrooms. Those are the only 3 I show you guys. But, you know, all of the other bathrooms are basically the exact same. I use the exact same, like, plumbing and stuff. I only change up the wall colors a little bit for every bathroom, but, you know, that's nothing special. They basically all look the same. And this house is up on the gallery if you guys wanted to download it. I will, you know, be leaving a download link in the description as well. I've started doing that now that I've finally gotten the gallery website to actually work for me it wasn't working for like two years or something but yeah I finally got it to work and so I will be including download links for all of my all of my builds from now on in the description if you guys want to download them that way just you know fair warning this isn't like a restricted packs build or a budget build or anything it's Actually, I think probably the most expensive house I've ever built. It's like almost 800,000 simoleons. So, yeah, I think it's probably the most expensive house I've ever built. So, yeah, it's definitely for your famous sims, I guess. And, yeah, like I said, I didn't restrict my pack usage at all. I did try and use a lot of items from Get Famous. But, yeah, I didn't, you know... Say I'm, this is like only base game and get famous or something. I did, you know, just use whatever I wanted. So I might, actually now that I think about it, I did use quite a lot of other stuff. Quite a lot of other packs, you know, if I remember correctly from the gallery. But, you know, it's always, you know, worth just trying, you know, downloading a build and seeing what's missing. Since a lot of the time, you know, I will use maybe like one plant from a certain pack. Or let's say from Romantic Garden, you know, if you're going with the pack with the plants analogy. But I might use like one plant from the Romantic Garden pack in the garden. And then obviously it will show up as using that. But if you don't have that pack and you download the build, you probably won't even notice one plant that's missing. Or like one candle inside the house. Or one rug, basically. That's a lot of the time that's what happens, especially with the stuff packs, is... If you have all of them like I do and you don't specifically pay attention to what you're using, a lot of the time I will just go in and I will want to place on a table for example a candle and I will just automatically reach for the dine out candle that came with dine out and I will use that in one place in the build but I won't use anything else from the pack so if you download it you'll only be missing the one candle. And of course you can actually, on the gallery, in game though, in game on the gallery you can actually click on the packs that it shows that the build used. So if you open up the build you'll see that it tells you which packs were used and if you actually click on those icons 
you can actually see the items that were used in the in the house so you guys can really easily if it's just like decorative items i mean obviously you'll be able to see what's decorative and what's not but yeah if you see it's just decorative items you know i would definitely suggest that you just download the house anyway if you want to and you know if there are any of those decorative items that you're missing and that you really want back just replace it with whatever you have in game in your game so yeah that's something that you guys could always do now thinking about it i not thinking about it but I, it just occurred to me in the video you guys will see that there are some custom content cars in the driveway and in the garage area now those cars are actually from nando he separated those from the world from del sol valley they're actually kind of like prop cars that are littered throughout the world and he just separated those and added them to you know to the game basically but they do show up as custom content but you know the build on the gallery i did actually remove those custom cars and just replace those with i replaced those with the like car sculpture decorative objects thingies from the base game so now on the gallery there on there's no custom content in this build if you wanted to download it i mean if you want to i will leave a link to the car props on nando's patreon if you guys want to download it you don't have to pay for them or anything they're not behind a paywall or anything like that the download link is just on patreon but yeah so i will leave a link to those in the description if you guys wanted to download them and maybe use them in your own builds or replace the toy cars that i have in front of this house with actual with those props keep in mind though that they are just props they're not like functional cars or anything they don't serve any kind of purpose they're literally just for decoration but you know since i'm so like bold oriented i guess i always think of new things i always like finding new things that i can use new bits of realism that i can add to my builds and having like prop cars in the game really helps with that since a lot of the times i will want to build a driveway just to make the house look the way i want it to look or build a garage or something like that and then your only option is a to either leave it blank and have nothing in the driveway or garage or you know repurpose the garage into something totally uncar related since we don't have cars or three you can scale up those toy cars which i've done a few times myself and there are two of them the truck and like the not the suv the truck and the like fancier car i guess i can't think of a correct name for it right now they size they scale up quite well i guess but the other ones they're just so you can clearly see that they're meant to be a lot smaller and they kind of look funny if you scale them up but yeah so i really like having those like prop cars in the game you know even if they are even if they are custom content i will probably use them for videos but remove them when i upload you know my builds to the gallery but yeah, thinking about custom content, I actually haven't done a custom content build in quite a while. Now that I think about it, I might do another one you know, quite soon, hopefully. I actually have two other works in progresses going on right now that I haven't even finished the exteriors of completely. But yeah, I actually have those and I have an idea for another one that I really want to do. But I don't want to include custom content in any of those so we'll just have to see i probably won't use custom yeah i probably won't use custom content for any of those since i want them to be downloadable but i don't know i might do like an, maybe an apartment or a smaller house or something with some custom content you know in the coming weeks i guess but yeah i don't really yeah i don't really know what else to talk about i'm just sitting here with you know talking out of my butt basically since yeah i actually cannot remember what i wanted to talk about but yeah we're almost at the end of the build luckily for you guys so that you don't have to you know listen to me blab blab and talk about absolute nonsense although if you made it this far in the video congratulations since yeah we've made it almost 20 minutes in the build portion of this is only about i think 23 minutes or something like that so we're not that far off but yeah i 
like I said earlier, I don't know, if, I can't remember if I mentioned this in the voiceover yet, but like I don't know if I mentioned this, but I wanted to tell you guys that I hope you don't mind that the video tour is, the video tour for this one is about 6 minutes long, it's actually like 6 minutes and 6 seconds I think. So it is quite long, it's quite a bit longer than my usual like video tours, but that's just because there was so much to cover in this house that I don't wa didn't want to skip anything. And you know, especially since there were whole rooms that I didn't show you guys in the video. And I always, you know, personally I always prefer having a bit of a longer video tour at the end, rather than a longer speed build portion, since, I don't know, I know I'm not the only you know, sim, um, Sims, you know, builder, that YouTuber, whatever, that doesn't really like doing long voiceovers. I know I'm not the only one, and I can totally, you know, I can totally respect that part now that I've done voiceovers myself. It's definitely not, not easy to talk to yourself for like 20 minutes at a time, and you're basically just sitting on your own. It's definitely not easy to do that on a regular basis. And if I had kept in all of those things that I cut out, the build would have been like 35 minutes long and I, I, no, I'm not doing that, I'm just not doing that. I would have probably had to leave you guys, you know, in the middle or something with just music and I didn't want to do that. So I opted for the longer video tour at the end, so I hope you guys don't mind that. But yeah. I wanted to ask you guys if you prefer, you know, the video tours. I know I've been doing them for quite a while now, but at the beginning when I started my channel for the first few months, I only did, you know, screenshots, regular screenshots at the end of videos. And I know a lot of you guys probably weren't around, you know, that time. A lot of you were probably are probably newer, you know, s you know, since I've started doing video tours, but I wanted to ask you guys if you prefer the video tours or if you're okay with screenshots, or if you just don't have a preference, I guess. You know, I think a lot of people, myself included, I just don't really care. I like seeing the build at the end, you know, if I've missed something, or I like I like seeing the whole build at the end, you know, either in screenshot form or in video tour form. So, yeah, let me know if you guys have a preference. But we're almost to the end of the video, so I think I'm going to leave it off right here. and just leave you guys with a few minutes with a minute or so of music after I've you know cut out basically but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a like and let me know any video suggestions that you guys might have in the comments and also remember to hit the notification bell to be notified of whenever I post new videos and if you're not subscribed already feel free to subscribe I would love to have you guys stick around on the channel and join me for some other videos but yeah, I hope you're having an awesome day and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye everyone!